Hello parents, in this short video I'm going to give you a quick introduction to Doodle Maths. When you type in Doodle Maths and search for it online or use the app on a phone or tablet, which we'd strongly recommend, you need to make sure you click on student login rather than parent login and then type in your child's username and their password and then you log in. Now the first time you log in, you'll need to make sure you select the correct curriculum. So we need the maths curriculum for England. And then we can say how easy or hard your child finds maths. So if you put the bar in the middle, that means they find it okay. If you put it to the left on difficult, that means that the program on Doodle will just give them work that's about two year groups below what they're currently doing to help support them. If you say easy, then it's going to give them some questions that are at a slightly greater depth and make them think a little bit more deeply about their mathematics. So I'm going to select the middle option for now. And then to do that, as it says here, we're going to start off by doing a few exercises. So this will just allow Doodle to get a sense of what areas am I really confident with at maths and what areas do I need a bit more help with. And then it's going to adjust the program to make sure that I get this individualized learning program that's going to really support me on my maths journey. What number, what number is represented, is represented by, this by this picture? So as you can see, there's a variety of different question types. When you first log in, it tells you all of the different things you need to know. It guides you through the program. And then I have a go and I'm filling in as I go. If I get a question right, then I own a star. There's lots of different styles of question. I'm going to show you now what happens if I get a question wrong. It might prompt me to have another go, in which case I can straight away correct my mistake. Now again, if I get a question wrong, it's going to come up with a question mark. That just tells the program that I might need to do a little bit more work on this. And if I still don't know what to do, then eventually we'll come back to it later on. Then once I've finished, I need to make sure that I click collect my doodle stars so I earn those points. And as you can see, I've now earned some coins and I have done a little bit better uh, with my tasks. So the first thing I need to do with this is I will need to carry on completing my baseline questions that will just help the program to be fully set up, ready for me. What I can also see though is that I have this red extras button. That's where my teacher has set me a bit of extra homework to do over the weekend. And these are the tasks that your children are expected to do every weekend. Teachers will set these tasks on a Friday and they need to be completed by the following Monday. There might sometimes be more than one extra task, so you need to make sure that you finish all of them. And as we see here, I've got a task I'm going to get going. This is linked to what I've been doing in class. And I've got a series of questions that I'm going to answer. And what's quite nice about this is it starts me off as well with some explanations. If you want, of course, your child can spend more time on um, Doodle Maths throughout the week. They don't just have to use it at the weekend. They can also use it during the week, in which case they'll be looking at their own personal learning journey and practicing things that are really good for them. But in terms of the weekend homework, they need to be focusing on these extra tasks. If you have any questions, please talk to your class teacher on Class Dojo.